So making sure that you can get some compression on the golf ball is really, really important when you're hitting your irons. I've got a dead easy method that's gonna improve that for you. Watch this. So compression in the golf ball, how do you get it? What does it look like? Right, so a lot of people are gonna struggle with this. This is a popular subject. So how do I get compression on the golf ball? I've got a very, very simple, probably the simplest method of making sure that you can do it. First, you've got to understand what a lack of compression is. So if the club, if you're a person that delivers the club in a manner that as they deliver the club like this, you're getting a little bit scoopy on the ball, flicky up, then as the club delivers, you're gonna start slowing down in that position, getting into here delivering it and then starting to get the ball working left on a high launch angle working left you're going to see shots that spin a lot but go left and you're going to lose distance we all know that you want to try and get a bit of compression especially with the uh, the irons that you want to be hitting down on the ball squeezing it to get the most out of it and get a nice consistent shot right so this is what i can get clients to do when i'm working on this with them so first things first the, and this is a very, very simple method. I would encourage a stronger grip. So if, an, if this is a nice neutral grip, so to stand here, I'm, I'm looking down probably two, two and a half knuckles on my left hand side, I would make that a lot stronger, right? And the reason for that is that at the point of address, if I strengthen that left hand up, it naturally wants to get the hands forward of the ball. So I naturally, if I go from a neutral position here, but then go stronger, I naturally want to stand like that. So that's going to get my hands forward of the ball, get myself into that position, and that's an advantage. So then as you swing from, from this position, you can see there, I don't have to roll my hand at all, but I can turn the club through, get it squaring up, rotate my body, hands are going to be forward of the ball, and that's going to help with compression to start with. All right, so what you're going to see is like, so you can take that away, just set yourself up, stronger grip, get the club in there, and then start to hit the ball. Now, if you are that person that gets a little bit scoopy into the ball and, and you strengthen up your grip, what you're going to see is this. So as you come in, you're still going to get that right hand quite active and start to squirt it to the left. Now the reason for that is that what often happens is from a, from a, a neutral grip and that sort of weaker impact position, as the club delivers into the ball, it very much follows on that part, so it's kind of an, up and out and then your hands exit on this line and what you've got to get is to a point where as you swing through that your hands are more staying on the hand part so as I swing through here much much lower with my hands here level with my belt so I have that feeling through the ball so stronger grip set myself up and feel like as I'm coming through I'm getting the club to exit left and I'm trying to keep my hands as low as possible so to stay there so get that feeling and then you're going to get here so at the exit point at sort of a three quarter follow through you can see there that the club's a long way left of my body and that's what you want to be so rather than finish and get up here so that the hands are in front of your body much lower and in there so then start hitting a few shots like that so I'd set up and just have that in mind that I want to get the hands further left of my body and lower and see there and then that's going to give you that lower flight. Over time, as you become better at it, that's a good feeling, but you're still going to get the club or the ball working to the left a little bit. And that's purely because the grip that you've put in is too strong. And then what you need to do is just get that feeling of the club exiting left, staying on a better hand path, getting on that way. And then just bring your hands back to a neutral position a slightly more comfortable position and start to do that and introduce a little bit of forearm roll as you're coming through to help square the club face. That's then gonna to start to straighten up the shots if you start to see them going left from that stronger grip position. So again, it should look like this. And that's more what you're going for. If you're working on your swing this winter and you want to know how your hips should react in your golf swing, make sure you check that video out.